Hello, beautiful souls. I am Valeria Maritza at Healing Through You. I am an infinite being of light, and so are you. Happy Thanksgiving if you celebrate here in the United States. And if you don't, happy holiday, happy break, or happy whatever it is that is coming up for you. Happy birthday. Um, I want to talk about holidays today, about the importance of them and how we treat them. A lot of times we are living our lives so quickly and in such a speed mode that we don't realize the actual meaning of a holiday. In today's world where everybody is spread around so far, especially here in the US, where you have families and every sibling is living in a different state and then the holiday becomes that one anchor where people can fly in from different places and meet and have that family um, dinner uh, and experience together um, that usually doesn't happen throughout the whole year, right? Because everybody's so busy, everybody has different schedules, everybody has different things going on. And so it becomes really difficult, especially if you have a big family, it's really difficult to get everybody at the same time. Um, and so it becomes a special thing because of it. But at the same time, it becomes a little bit stressful because, oh, I have to do this. Have you ever heard about that? I have to go because blah, blah, blah. First of all, we don't have to do anything. We feel obliged, but that's um, sometimes, but that's something that society has put upon us. It's not doing what we want. Um, so if you're feeling like you have to, then right off the bat, you're setting yourself for failure when you get there to spend the time because you're not putting in your best foot forward. You're not going with the intention of having fun. You're not going with the intention of, of meeting people and being there together and having good all time experiences with them. Perhaps you're having um, disagreements so you don't like the way your parents treat you or maybe you have a sibling and then you're like um, really not wanting to meet that person or to have to interact with them as much, right? But you have to, because it's blood, because it's your brother, because it's your sister, because it's your mother, whatever it is. And so when we start with that attitude, it usually comes true because we are all energy. And so whatever energy you're setting out, you are going to show to others. The energy runs and reaches so much further and so much faster than you're all three-dimensional physical body and so it gets to them earlier and then they feel that energy of like oh i have to go i don't really want to be there and then the people who are receiving this your family um become reactive to the message the energetic message that you just sent them you understand so this is why it's really important to set a really good intention of love harmony peace um cherish uh your family being able to spend the time ahead of time set your mind in in a good place so that you your whole trip when you're setting up your things when you're buying your stuff when you're packing when you're traveling there becomes some time some type of joyous adventure instead of something that feels heavy you don't want to do or you don't feel like doing especially if you're traveling um by car and there's like usually lots of traffic and you're hating it and you get stuck in traffic all of those things set an energetic field that you are actually sending to your loved ones they're receiving it everything that you think about comes true especially when you have the feeling. So when you have a feeling like, oh, I don't really wanna go there, but I have to. And then you're driving and you're stuck in traffic and now you're really feeling anger and you're feeling frustration that you're stuck there. That emotion is really what makes uh, things happen really quickly in your life. So set the intention to enjoy every minute of whatever it is that you're choosing to do as you're getting there so that you can send ahead your soul, your higher self ahead to meet your family, to send that, that feeling of harmony, love, acceptance, and joy. That's what you want to do before getting there, no matter what the situation is. But I also want to talk to you about something else. Um, I heard this on a different podcast, and I forgot who it was, but it went like this. There was somebody who was being interviewed, and the interviewee asked the interviewer, um, well, let me ask you something. He said, um, how, um, how often do you get to see your mom? And he said, oh, about two or three times a year. 
So we all know what those two, three times a year are. They're probably uh, Christmas or New Year's, it's probably Thanksgiving, and maybe sometimes in the, in the summer. Those are probably the two, three times, or a birthday, right? Or something special like that. Um, and he goes, okay, um, well, how old is she? He goes, oh, she's 72. He goes, okay, well, let's see. Uh, the life expectancy here for women in the United States is 77. Now, that's just the average, right? So let's say she goes up to 80, okay? So she's 72 now, that's eight years. You see her two, three times a year, let's say three times, and three times eight is 24. That means you're going to see your mom 24 more times before she passes. Now, when you break it down this way, and when you see the numbers, and when you realize what's happening, then you start thinking like, oh, wait a second, what's going on here? And you realize that you're actually taking for granted those you love, or you're taking for granted the people in your life that annoy you sometimes, which is normal because, you know, we're humans and we do get annoyed because we're all different. But you're taking for granted the fact that they're always going to be there for you to get annoyed by and that it is not important for you to make the effort to actually go see them whenever it is that you have the time, right? So you're choosing to go on vacation on your own or you're choosing not to go anywhere or you're choosing to not visit or whatever it is that you're choosing because you rather do something else. I mean, let's face it, that's what it is. You want to do something else and that's fine. But then really look down at it. Really do the numbers and, and figure it out. And then once you have the numbers, if you still feel the same, then go ahead, continue doing what you want to do. But if it doesn't feel that way, if it feels like, oh, wow, that's it. That's, those are the only times I get to see them again then that's telling you something. It's telling you that you're living your life on autopilot, that you're just getting by each day, each week, each month, each year sometimes, without really thinking of the end, right? And the end, we're talking about, obviously, the end here on Earth, the end of our existence here on Earth, because as you know, we're infinite beings of light. Once we cross over, once we die, our soul is actually right here and can see you and communicate with you if you choose to, right? It's just that most of us don't and or it's a difficult thing to do or we think that only some people can do it. And so it becomes a real true ending when someone crosses over instead of being um, a celebration of crossing to the other side where they're you know, going back to true, pure love, unconditional love, non-judgmental love um, for anything and everyone. We see it as an ending of something because we miss the person that we had here in, in the three-dimensional world. And so if that's you and you're feeling like, oh yeah, I would miss them, then make a little inventory of your life and begin to live your life a little bit more on purpose so that you can include more of what you really like, you really want, and more of what you might miss if it was taken from you tomorrow, right? It's really important to, to realize these things because a lot of us, you know, um, go through life avoiding the subject of death and avo avoiding the subject of, you know, we don't know when our, di our day is coming and we don't know where, uh, how long we'll be here and how much longer we have, which is why it's so important to live your life to the fullest each day. With joy, it's so important to give uh, the best of you each day instead of giving words that have low frequencies, as in being judgmental yourself to either yourself or to others, right? So this is what you want to bring up to the table and really see what it is that is important to you and how it would feel if you knew that you had x amount of days left to see or to spend with a specific loved one what would you do different what kind of things would you say different what experiences would you add to your life if you knew that you had this um very limited amount of time left to be with them, to experience human life here on earth with them, right? That is the question. It's a really heavy question, I know. But during the holidays, there are everybody's, um, uh, not everybody, but most people are very emotional because 
emotions run high during this time and also in november november october november the um the veil in between the worlds are much thinner and so we tend to feel our loved ones who have already crossed we tend to feel our guides much closer and we tend to uh, feel our um the messages that we're receiving and that also adds to the intensity of the emotions that we're feeling because we when you connect with your uh, with your guides with god with the divine with um your loved ones who have crossed over you are feeling them in pure love form and that's really emotional because living the three-dimensional world we don't really tend to see that that much because we don't allow ourselves to love that way and we don't allow ourselves to be loved that way so it's difficult and so once you receive that love when you feel that unconditional love because um your guides are close by because your um loved ones are close by you, be you become quite emotional this is part of what um of what aids the whole collective feeling emotional towards um towards around the holidays because everybody goes through it everybody is going through the same thing right the music is like very nostalgic everything's pretty and if you're alone or if you're missing someone if you're missing a parent who's already crossed or if you're missing a loved one or if you're just alone because your marriage um didn't work out or because you just haven't found that right person then you tend to feel very very sad nostalgic alone know that these feelings are all conditioned also upon us they're conditioned oh you should quote unquote have someone with you it's nice to have the holidays with someone so it is nice it's always nice to have relationships and spend good times with others but that's what friends are for that's what family is for that is what partners are for as well but if you happen to be one of these people who is missing somebody cherish and enjoy the time you do have with the people that are in your life right now that is a really really deep kind of heavy message that's coming through today but um hopefully this will help you uh kind of like regroup regroup where you're going in your life rethink what's important and set your your life in motion in a way that's going to make you feel more fulfilled happier um and more connected that's the word it's more connected whenever something happens that we don't like we tend to just run away or separate ourselves from the situation when in fact if you allow yourself to be present no matter what the situation is um, to enjoy people as they are without judgment to see them for who they are and be able to send them love without being touched by resentment or jealousy or fear or any of those things that you know are really not high frequency um, then then your whole life can change for the better because then you begin to really see that the purpose of you being here in this world is to experience and to have joy to be present to be here have joy and be present in the moments so of find joy in anything and everything that you find and find the time to make those connections because that is really what makes a really good holiday when you create those really good connections human connections with others it's the that's that's what you're going to remember you're not going to remember the sweater you got for christmas or the apple pie that fell on the ground and you still ate it or whatever you know things funny things happen you know you're not going to remember that you're going to remember the the funny experience with you laughing and, and getting through the struggles that's what you're going to remember so make the time make the time for that and just really look at your life look at what it is that you're doing and what your priorities are all right with that i'm going to let you go have a great great weekend and um i will talk to you soon Bye bye